dear students good morning again i welcome all of you in today's online class in today's online class we will discuss the exchange forces and explanation of saturation of nuclear forces on the basis of exchange forces so in order to discuss the exchange forces three types of exchange forces are extensively used these are number 1 heisenberg forces in which there is exchange of both the position and spin coordinates of the two interacting nucleons heisenberg forces are attractive for triplet interactions and repulsive for singlet interactions that is anti parallel spin number 2 majorana forces in which there is exchange of the position coordinates but not of spin they can be visualized physically in terms of the exchange of pi masons or pi ohms the majorana force is attractive for two particles with even relative angular momentum and repulsive for interactions involving odd relative angular momentum number 3 number 3 partlet forces in which there is exchange of the spin coordinates but not of the position coordinates the two nucleon system can usually be represented as a mixture of majorana and wigner forces the wigner exchange operator is unity and does nothing to the force if each nucleon exerted exerted the same attractive force on all other nucleons in its nucleus then there would be a a minus 1 upon twice attractive bonds for a greater than 1 the binding energy would then increase at least as rapidly as a square experimentally this square law is not realized because b upon a binding energy per nucleon is not proportional to a we good approximation the total binding energy b is proportional to the number of nucleons or we can say b is equals to constant into a this is analogs to the chemical binding energy between the atoms in a liquid which is proportional to the total number of atoms present in a drop of liquid hydrogen we find a strong polar binding individual hydrogen atom 
the third hydrogen atom is not strongly attracted and hydrogen mole is said to be saturated the total binding energy of the drop proportional to the total number of atoms present the total energy is slightly increased by forces between the moles the mathematical representation of homopolar binding is that of exchange forces which is correspond to continued process of exchanging the electrons of one atom with the other atom in the molecule adoption of the concept of exchange forces in nuclear theory was made because they explain the saturation of nuclear forces the particle which is exchanged between two nucleons is assumed to be a pi mason or pi ohm the exchange force between a proton and neutron can be shown like this here is an interaction that is p plus n going to convert into n dash plus pi plus plus n it means proton is converting uh, by uh, uh, emitting a pi ion it is converting into n dash so p plus n ultimately is going into n dash plus p dash because this pi ion pi plus again interacts with n and converted into p dash so p plus n ultimately converts into n dash plus p dash here the initial proton becomes a neutron by losing a positive pi ion which then joins the original neutron and converts it into a proton the original protons and neutrons have now exchanged their coordinates negative pions and neutral pions can also be involved in the exchange force between nucleons according to n plus p converting into p dash plus pi minus plus p and uh, pi minus plus p again converted into n dash so n plus p ultimately converted into p dash plus n dash similarly n plus n converting into n dash plus pi 0 plus n which again converted into n dash plus n dash and similarly p plus p is converting into p dash plus pi 0 plus p which again converted into p dash plus p dash and now i come to the dependence of nuclear forces on special and spin coordinates the nuclear unit which shows saturation doesn't contain two particles but four this is evident from the binding energy nucleons are seen to exert 
strong forces upon each other only if they are in the same quantum state with regard to their special coordinates these internucleon forces are indifferent to relative spin orientations for example if spins were parallel then the deuteron should be sub unit and an additional proton or neutron as in helium 3 uh, titanium and uh, helium 3 and uh, h3 that is titanium should not be strongly bound therefore the forces between nucleons can depend only moderately on the relative spin directions of the two nucleons and that's all in today's online class thank you